Hello everyone, welcome to BroGuyStar64. Today I'm here with something a little different from my usual gameplay. Of course you might see gameplay right now up on the screen, it's Halo of course. Um, but some of you may have noticed that recently uh, I slash we, me like me and my brother, have been playing some Halo multiplayer a bit. All, and by a bit I mean a lot. Uh, here on the channel through the power of full stream. Which pretty much means I put a whole stream up on YouTube. And if not, then that's fine. Uh, but since we played Halo for a bit, I figured it was time to do one of these top five lists. Displaying my top five favorite Halo games overall. Uh, but this, this means including multiplayer and campaign within the list. Uh, you know, that's all going to be rounded up. Um, and also keep in mind, this is not... This is not... You know, th this is based on my personal preference. This is not my divine testament as to what some should go out and buy and or play from the holy gods above. Uh, play whichever one makes you happy. Play whichever, you know. Uh, also, I'm not necessarily the best reviewer, so yeah. Um, I might be playing a little bit of gameplay here in the background, but I'm not too entirely sure because I don't know if I'll be able to focus on here on this script that I have written out this beautiful script while also getting my ass handed to me by a couple of chumps eating Cheetos and wiping, you know. I mean, hey, that's what I do, though, so, I mean, it's whatever. <laughs> anyway, let's, let's start the list at number five. Of course comes Halo 5, Guardians. Uh, it's just, this is starting with the lowest on the list. Halo 5 is a game that I was actually kind of considering putting a little higher onto the list, but I found myself looking over towards its campaign and thinking, yeah, no, it's probably fine here. Uh, and that's for a multitude of reasons. But, I, you know, I guess it's kind of funny to have Halo 5 on the number 5 spot. <laughs> no? No? Okay. All right. uh, <laughs> the reason I put this game so low on the list mostly is mostly due to the campaign, to be quite honest. The multiplayer is pretty fun to me. I mean, even though it teeters on the edge of actually feeling like a Halo game, I find myself enjoying it more than enough for a bit of fun. I mean, I play it and boot it up every now and then just to... Mess around on it and have some fun, you know. Uh, even though I actually don't approve of the REQ system, I'm not a fan of that, nor am I too enthused with the armor system, the way it's handled, and like just how the armor looks in general. I mean, I'm not too enthused by all that. Uh, but they do add something different, which is okay, I guess, you know. But other games do it better. And the fact that the multiplayer being less than Halo, coupled with the fact that I disagree with mostly everything about the atrocity that was that campaign is more than enough to damage my standing on the game so I, I say no more that's that's just where it's at on the list coming up at number four uh... continuing the trend of numbers being you know the halo numbers being on the numbers halo four uh... next on the list is a is a halo four of course a game that conflicted with me just as much as halo five but halo four won this spot over halo five anyways so yeah. Um. So, about Halo 4, the the thing is that put up this game above Halo 5 is that I thought the campaign was actually very enjoyable in comparison. Like I I actually felt like it was a Halo game, even though they added things that some people would see as unfavorable. I actually thought it felt pretty good as an updated Halo game. Like I I felt like it still had that same feel of Halo, but you know. And of course there are things about the campaign that I don't like, like bullet sponge enemies, how it felt generally linear, and some of the design choices like with the uh, the, the enemies and the allies and stuff like that I like, but other than that, I mean, it's over, it felt pretty good play. I just, I didn't like how the enemies and our, our allies, like the UNSC members were, the Marines were designed, they didn't really stick too well with me. Uh, but what brought this game lower for me? And now this is my opinion is the multiplayer to be quite honest because to me the multiplayer even feels more like a Call of Duty than Halo 5's uh, which to me is not good I don't really like Call of Duty multiplayer you know and it, it's because the kill cam the loadouts and just how it has that sort of flimsiness that I, I don't know everything doesn't really feel balanced uh, the campaign just seems almost to be free of these the feeling of the multiplayer because like just the campaign feels different overall I guess it just didn't settle with me too well I don't know it's just I, oh, and I never played Spartan Ops much, but what I did play of it was okay. I mean, I didn't. I was indifferent to it, so it's not like it gains it any merit. But you know, whatever. 
Number three, once again, continuing that trend of the numbers being the same as the Halo game, Halo 3 is my number three spot. And I know what you're all thinking. I mean, maybe what all are you thinking? And some of you may say that Halo 3 is the best ever. And, like, the multiplayer is the best ever. And the campaign was also amazing. And I have friends that think much the same. And I also understand your point. Uh, to me, Halo 5 has an amazing campaign that is funny, dark, beautiful, all at the same time. Like, it's all of that at the same time. Makes you feel great just to play it as if it's just more of the same Halo, but better looking. Has more weapons, more vehicles, more mechanics, more equipment. It's, just, it's, also, it's, a, you know, it's, it's also the end of the classic trilogy, so yeah. And I, and I loved every moment of it. Uh, the multiplayer also introduced Forge, which I fucking love. I, I, I love Forge. It's just amazing. I, I loved fucking around on Forge. And it also introduced a lot of game modes that people loved, and it's just some of the best fun ever. And there's no real problem with any of it. And that that's why some of you may ask why that it's pretty much perfect, like, you know, why I'm asking, or why I'm saying that it's pretty much perfect to me, yet I still put it kind of low on the list. Well, I'll tell you. The only reason Halo 3 is here on the list, instead of it being higher, is because for some reason, I have a strange, slippery feeling when it comes to playing Halo 3 now. Something about it just has that weird sheen on it that I'm not sure I like. Just, I don't know what it is. And I don't ask me to explain it, because I really don't. I love Halo. And it's just, it's amazing. I love, I love Halo 3. But, just, it, it's got that weird coding. I think, I think we're going to go ahead and hop into some gameplay real quick. While I describe my number two spot nope by the way Jake snake 95 is in the background put it down in the comments down below say hi <laughs> no actually my number two spot is a complete and total tie between Halo Reach and Halo 3 ODST and those two fought desperately to gain my number two spot but after much debate much heartache I gave it to fucking both of them, that's right. I couldn't leave one over the other. Both share the same place in my heart, damn it. And both can share the medal for number two. Because both of these games have beautiful atmosphere, beautiful graphics, stories, multiplayer, everything. Halo Reach introduced full customization of your own Spartan, and also tweaked the multiplayer to feel new and the same all at once. And Halo 3 ODST gave us the multiplayer phenomenon of Firefight, all while delivering us a fun and charming campaign that did something different from the rest of the series. As it introduced more mechanics, and just it just had some it had a different feel to it. It didn't, you know. Halo Reach's campaign made us me and my friends feel like our like we were war heroes. You know, going into war with the Covenant guns blazing, but also still having sacrifice along the way, and it just it flings so many emotions at us that we didn't know what to think at any one time. All while Halo 3 ODST pitted us against the Covenant in, in a different setting. Like, we weren't all powerful. We weren't the power trip you gained from Reach, where you and your friends feel like heroes. It, it pretty much quickly turned us into a strategizing team trying to find a way through the city while conserving bullets, but still, you know, having fun at the same time. And it all delivered the same emotional impact, just as Reach does. Like, they both just have their own amazing feel. Both games delivered amazing experiences that I would go through time and time again, but one Halo game trumps them all in my eyes. And some may call it nostalgia, and in reality, that may be a part of it. But there's just something more that's there, and I don't know how to explain it either. Because number one, my number one top favorite Halo game of all time is Halo 2. That's right. I said it. Two. So, it's going to get kind of hard to explain why I love Halo 2 so much, while also trying to do some gameplay. So I'm going to sneak a few peeks at the script that I have here, while I also try to fight the enemy. By the way, I'm sorry if this isn't the best way to do a list. I, this is the only way I really have to record, so. But, anyways... My main favorite, even though many other Halo games delivered so many more different experiences and so much more emotion, yada yada, this and that, this game has always stuck out as my favorite Halo game. For some reasons, like you may know, for some you may question, I, I don't know, I, like, I played all the Halo games growing up. Hell, I even, I, I was three or four, I think, whenever the first Halo, like whenever CE came out, 
which is another game I probably should have, you know, thought about putting in the spot Halo 4 and 5 got, but, oh well. But anyways, whenever it came out, I played it eagerly with my uncle, my brother, my dad, everyone, like, and we, we just, we had so much fun in the first game, that when this game came out, it was just like so much hit us at once, like, it was just so much new, like, everything was new, everything was cool, we had new vehicles, new guns, new everything, and it was just amazing, like, I mean... That, that's probably why I said nostalgia has a hand in it because it's just so awesome, you know. And and we, because we love the like I said, we love the graphics, the new gameplay, new weapons, new vehicles, everything. And I, I guess the graphics don't stand out as much nowadays. I mean, Halo 2 Anniversary helps out with that a lot, though. Uh, and I don't think the campaign really feels as different as Reach or ODST. Like it's pretty much a run-of-the-mill campaign, and it did leave off with a cliffhanger, much to some, like much to some's. Uh, I, uh, you know, hate, pretty much. But it, it just still feels ripe with suspense and emotion to me. Like, I still love to play through the campaign just as much as I do any of the other Halos, probably even more. Like, to me, the game still plays smoothly. It still feels fun. It still has just enough new guns. It, like, everything's balanced. Everything is just, like, it, it, you have everything to tackle any situation and have a good time doing so. Like, you never feel like you're under-equipped. You never feel like you're over-equipped. And uh, just that has a feeling to me, I guess. And then the game also added in new elements that come into most of the other games. Such as, like, you know, the ability to take vehicles away from enemies, dual wielding, many of the new enemies that, like, were a staple of the games. Like, you know, Brutes. You remember them? Yeah, they're in Halo Wars 2. They're fucking awesome. Wish they'd come back. And uh, some people may also think the multiplayer feels kind of plain by today's standard. I mean, the... I don't know how many necessarily think that, but, you know, there's bound to be people out there that think that. But for me, there's just it just feels just as good. Like, it just feels tight. It feels just, you know, everything's balanced. It doesn't have that weird slippery feeling like with Halo 3 for some reason. And all the, everything just feels nice. Everything feels nice to play. And then, now, like I said, nostalgia may have a hand in this, of course. But Halo 2 is my favorite Halo game, and it will most likely, like without a doubt probably remain that way and that's all I can say about that and uh, th those are my top five Halo games and I'd like everyone to remember that this is just my opinion of course I do not hate on anybody for liking any other game more than the others I didn't include Halo Wars or anything like that because I felt like main series Halo games are pretty much just what my jam were here um, I thought he was about to teabag um, I'm not hating on anybody else for liking any of the other games, you know? You guys, like I said, you play what you want to play. I mean, you have fun playing it. That's fine. I am sort of regretting, however, putting Halo 4 and 5 on the list. Like, other than Halo CE. Like, because CE is just... I love CE more than Halo... Probably even more than Halo 4, 5, and 3 combined, to be quite honest. But, uh, you know, I guess this list will do it. Because it, it... I, you know, I like it. I'll just say that Halo CE is in its own league. Like, it's still below Halo 2, but it's right beside it. Like, I don't know. It's like, it's just in a strange, spooky ghost way that it's, like, just the same, I'd say. Because it's... I just love Halo CE as well. Why I didn't actually include it, I don't know. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Of course, thank you for watching for the top ten and stuff. Of course, I'm going to finish this match. I'll never leave a match. So, I'm going to go ahead and finish this match up in this video. Uh... The top five was pretty much the brunt of the video, though, so if that's all you came to watch, then I'll see you later. And if you like what I do, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. But, you know, if you're here to, you know, watch till the end, I'm going to keep playing this game, and whenever it ends, that's whenever I'll end the video for you guys. How about that? Anyways, I've been doing bad. Just as a catch-up, I've been doing quite bad while trying to read from my script and... Which I went off a lot of. Like, I went completely AWOL from the script for a second there. I may have stuttered a lot, but that was like the first ever top five list that I've ever done, to be quite honest. And I'm, 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 I'm comfortable with my top five there. Like, I, I love where I placed everything. I was lucky. I did not expect to actually... Oh, God! Oh, no! Oh. But, yeah. I mean... It was, it was pretty difficult to keep on script 
while also while also pretty much playing the game. So that's why like one of them had to suffer. And I think in trying to make just to be quite honest, like in, in in trying to just make the script come to mind at the same time as playing the game just made both suffer at the same time, so I'll probably have to get better at that. They are beating us like hard. They are like fucking our assholes. Oh, uh. I see like Halo 3, I still love to play Halo 3. Like, it just has this weird feeling to me. I don't know how to explain it. Yeah, teabag all you want, bitch. I guess it's just that I like Halo 2 more. Maybe that's just a... Maybe I'm letting nostalgia cloud my vision. You're definitely not doing too good this match, I know that much. Not doing too bad. We have we have a missing teammate, that's also probably one. Did I not kill him? Hacks! Oh god! I didn't see the I I didn't see the shotgun until like the last second. Yeah, 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 you're doing good. Go ahead, smack me, teabag me, whatever you want to do. I tell you. Multiplayer starts to be toxic whenever all you can fucking encounter are teabaggers thinking they're better than you. Sure, you are better than me, but that gives you no right. <laughs> I, wanted the, I wanted that fucking... Yep. Yeah. I knew trying to... Get that battle rifle would do me no good. Jesus. I would be doing way better. Yeah, teabag. Do whatever makes you feel happy and makes your PP tickle. Fucking dumbass. Good for you. You spend all day playing Halo. Which doesn't sound like a bad life, to be quite honest. I wish I could do the same. So I clap for you, sir. I clap for you. Well, it hasn't been that long, but I'll probably be back with an, another stream to actually do some gameplay here in a second. I'm going to wind this stream down real quick, and then I'll probably be right back with another stream to just go ahead and record some gameplay. But this one was dedicated to a top five, and I'm going to leave it that way. Uh, thank you, everybody, for coming out to the stream. Thank you, guys, everybody, coming out to the video. And if you like what I did here, of course, leave a like, comment, subscribe. For those of you possibly in the watch... Like, for those of you possibly watching right now, I will be right back with another stream to record some more gameplay. So, if you want to see more, just go ahead and stay if you want. Um, but yeah, I'm going to end that right here, and I will be right back with another video.